My name is Ashley Nash and I'm here today on behalf of the SNA and MSDS Heritage to tell you about a project to quantify the use of museum archaeological collections. The SMA have been awarded funding by Historic England for this project, with MSDS Heritage undertaking the work. I suspect many of you won't have heard the name MSDS Heritage before, as we are a relatively new offshoot of a more marine focused unit who are delivering work in both the terrestrial and marine sectors. This project is both important and timely, and I'm here today to take you through the background, why it's needed and how we're going to carry out the work. To place the project in context, it's necessary to take you back to the heady days of 2017 and the publication of the Mendoza Review of Museums. At the time, this was the first comprehensive review of the museum sector to be carried out in 10 years, and it identified nine priorities for museums and set out 27 recommendations for DCMS, Arts Council England, the HLF and Historic England to address. Amongst these priorities, the review highlighted issues around the creation, management and storage of museum collections including the need for more robust data on the sector required for both advocacy and to support strategic policy. One of the recommendations within the review asked Historic England to work with key stakeholders to produce recommendations early in 2018, which improved the long-term sustainability of the archaeological archives generated by developer-funded excavations. This recommendation led directly to the publication of the Future for Archaeological Archives programme in 2018, produced by Historic England, working in partnership with several organisations, including Arts Council England and the SMA. Based on this review, the programme presented a number of recommendations to DCMS with a 12-point action plan for the sector. Point 11 of this plan directly relates to the use of archaeological archives and states that Arts Council England working with Historic England and the Society for Museum Archaeology should monitor and assess access and use of archaeological archives held by museums in order to inform improvements in policy and practice and evaluate their effectiveness. While the Future for Archaeological Archives programme refers to archives produced as a result of developer-led archaeological fieldwork, it should be noted that these archives represent just one aspect of the wider archaeological and heritage-related evidence base held within museum archaeological collections. As such, these collections should be considered as a whole rather than focusing exclusively on one aspect. At this point in time, this sets out the strategic context for quantifying the use of museum archaeological collections. Over four years on from the publication of the Action Plan, what research has been undertaken to monitor and assess the access to and use of museum archaeological collections? Against the backdrop of the Mendoza Review, the SMA completed a series of reports commissioned by Historic England between 2016 and 2018, which aimed to gather data on the challenges that archaeology collecting museums faced and to monitor them over a period of three years. While these reports did not specifically gather data on the use of archaeological collections, they quantified the issues facing museums, such as the capacity to collect and store archaeological collections, in addition to the provision of staff resources and expertise. These issues directly relate to the use of and access to archaeological collections. In its role as subject specialist network for British archaeology in the UK, the SMA published a series of case studies in 2021, which showcased the wide range of use and engagement that archaeological collections can deliver. These case studies demonstrate how archaeological collections can be made accessible and relevant to a wide variety of people and that the use of collections can go beyond the archaeological or academic to incorporate creative, social and well-being outcomes. As part 
part of the Future for Archaeological Archives programme, a project was undertaken by University Archaeology UK on behalf of Historic England, the results of which were published this year. This project involved a rapid quantification and analysis of the different types of archaeological archives currently being used in England by PhD researchers and other research projects over a 10 year period from 2010 to 2020. Despite the projects which have been carried out in the intervening years between the publication of the Mendoza Review and today, no comprehensive quantitative or qualitative data set relative to the usage of museum archaeological collections has ever been produced. Beyond the strategic context laid out by the review and the Future for Archaeological Archives programme, what is the potential impact of creating such an evidence base? Data collection on this scale has the potential to assist in increasing the public benefit of archaeological work conducted through the planning process and more broadly the archaeological resource cared for by public institutions. It will provide information which better enables the sector to understand how and why people access and use or don't access and use those collections and where work to improve access and develop public awareness of collections is needed. If we can start to develop an understanding of who is or indeed who isn't benefiting from engagement with archaeological material, then we can start to break down the barriers for those that can't or don't. Carrying out such a project after the pandemic, during which the benefits of accessing archaeological collections in new ways has been clearly demonstrated, provides a specific context in which sharing data has the potential to assist museums with post-COVID recovery and building resilience. Recently, the SMA have been awarded funding by Historic England to carry out such a project over two and a half years. MSDS Heritage will be conducting the work on behalf of the SMA, with the project being overseen by a project working group formed of members of the SMA committee. The overall aim of the project is to gather data which demonstrates the current range and level of use of archaeological collections. The type of questions the project will aim to answer include who is accessing archaeological collections? Is it academic, researchers, professionals, members of the public? What are the primary benefits of access? Is it personal interest, research, education or well-being? How do people search for or find information about archaeological collections in museums? How are they being accessed? Is it digitally or physically visiting the museum? What scale of use is being facilitated? So how many inquiries? What level of access is needed? How much resource is required? And what are the primary barriers to facilitation? Is it lack of resources or capacity? lack of awareness or promotion of archaeological collections, or is it other exclusion factors? So that's the overarching aim of the project, and that is underpinned by three key objectives. So the first objective is to collect data in real time about the use of archaeological collections. So what do we mean by real time in this scenario? Many projects of this nature rely on a survey method which involves retrospectively gathering data. This project will use a process of frequent data collection over a period of 18 months to allow ongoing analysis throughout the whole of the survey period. This method of collecting data in real time will result in a more accurate data set and will allow trends and patterns to be identified as they emerge. With over 2,500 museums across the UK, it's not possible to collect this fine-grained information from everyone. Therefore, the project will work with a defined sample of 20 organisations who will be project partners. Our project partners will represent a cross-section of the museum sector and range in terms of their geographical location, size and the collections held. The majority of our partners will be museums, 
but it is recognised that there are several commercial archaeological companies who hold accessible archaeological collections. A small number of such companies will be included as project partners to determine the level of use of archaeological collections in such organisations. The second objective is to provide an online project community space. As the data collection will happen over a prolonged period of time, sustainable engagement with the project partners is a key objective. To facilitate this, the project will set up a virtual community space for the project team and partners by utilising one of the many online platforms available. This project community forum will be monitored on a regular basis by the project team and will be used to provide updates to partners, announce events and to troubleshoot any issues relating to the project. The forum will also provide opportunities for discussion which will allow organisations the space to develop and maintain professional relationships while also enabling the transfer of knowledge and ideas relating to collections. And our third objective is to disseminate and promote the results of the project to the sector. Overall analysis of the complete data set will take part towards the latter stages of the project and will be compiled into a final report. This will also include recommendations for the sector based on this analysis. Once the report has been approved by Historic England, it will be made available through both the Historic England and SMA websites. So the scope of the project is broad and will focus on archaeological collections, which the project has defined as any collection of objects or archives relating to a particular place, area or period, and will include both accessioned and handling collections. As the project is geographically focused on the UK, only the use of collections from British context will be surveyed. The project defines use as the active engagement with a collection for beneficial purposes relevant to a particular individual, organisation or society. This definition is broad to accommodate for the range of uses of archaeological collections and will encompass both external and internal use. The types of use can be classified into broad categories such as audience development and engagement, exhibition display, research, creative inspiration and well-being. The project will take place in six stages over the next two and a half years. We're currently in the project planning stage and in the process of signing up organisations to take part. Stage one also involves creating an online community space and finalising the logistics for undertaking the project. This includes discussions with each project partner to determine how the main survey can be incorporated into current workflows. Stage two will entail taking a baseline of every partner organisation in terms of their collections, so the type of collections, promotion and accessibility. This baseline will be gathered qualitatively through informal interviews and will provide a context for each organisation's data collection. Stage three is the main survey and will take place over 18 months. As I've outlined previously, data collection during this period will take place at frequent intervals through a process which will be tailored for each organisation where necessary. Regular online events will be held with the project partners to help sustain engagement during this extended period. A lot can happen in 18 months and so in stage four we will repeat the baseline survey carried out in stage two. This comparative survey will allow any changes to be recorded, thereby providing additional context for any trends in usage identified for any given organisation. This stage will also give partners the opportunity to provide feedback to the project team regarding how the project has been managed and delivered. Stage five is the analysis phase of the project and will involve the analysis of the overall data set and will aim to answer questions such as, 
the rate and range of uses of political collections over the survey period, identify the principal groups of users who access our political collections, how are they accessed, and how does the range and rate of use vary between partner organisations. With the results of the baseline surveys carried out in stages two and four, a comparative analysis will be undertaken during this phase. This will identify any changes which have occurred in organisations, for example, have any digitisation projects taken place which have affected the use of our political collections. The collated feedback from project partners in stage four will also be analysed as part of this stage. Feedback provided will allow the project team to determine if the project has been successful from the perspective of the partners and to assess if the level of communication for the project enables them to remain engaged. Stage six is the final phase of the project and involves the production of a report containing the analysis undertaken during stage five. This report will contain not only the analysis that I've just outlined, but will also evaluate the impact of the project on the future use of archaeological collections. It is hoped that the data set will enable recommendations for how the results can be used to support the strategic and policy aims of both Arts Council England and Historic England. The results of the project will then be made available through both the Historic England and SMA websites. So the project timeline, as I've said, the project is currently in the project planning stage with stage two taking place throughout October of this year. Stage three, the main survey, will run from November this year and will continue right through to April 2024. This will be followed by stage four, which will be undertaken between May and August 2024, with stages five and six running from August 2024 to December 2024. We will hopefully be able to share updates with the wider sector throughout this period, so keep an eye on the SMA social media channels. So thank you very much for listening today. I hope that you found the outline of the project interesting. Please do look out for updates on the project over the next couple of years as we start to get an idea of the use of archaeological collections. Several organisations have already signed up to the project, but we have a small number of places remaining. If your organisation is potentially interested in taking part, please do get in touch. We are particularly interested in hearing from museums in the east of England or Wales. Thank you very much for listening, everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.